Episode number 14, what makes a really good real estate agent? Let's get it started. Okay guys, so check this out. For those of you that don't know, I moved to this beautiful country around six years ago. And I initially started my journey in real estate as a real estate investor. I did work as a real estate agent prior in, in Australia, but when I moved here, I was a real estate investor. I was looking to buy, fix and flip as many homes as I could. And back in the day, guys, the times were tough. Like I was literally eating peanut butter for breakfast, drinking $1 gas station coffees to survive. And whenever I could go to McDonald's and buy eight cheeseburgers, I was happy because I would eat four, I would put the other four in the fridge. So look, the times were tough. Um, but the one thing that I never did, and, and that is this, I never compromised my beliefs to make money. Okay. And it took me a year and a half to actually get on my feet and start doing business, make my first sale. And yes, it was very tough, it was very long, it was excruciating because I was hungry, guys. I wanted to eat and I, and I kid you not, I was really starving for food. I just wanted to make the sale and I wanted to eat. And I came across a lot of people that I could have made a sale to and I could have worked with, but something didn't feel right. And I didn't commit to that. And guys, it ended up being the right thing because in the long run, if you compromise your beliefs, and you make a sale today, but you make a sale with the wrong person in mind or, or in a wrong way, it's gonna come and bite you back in the long run. You don't wanna compromise your beliefs. Real estate, guys, in my opinion, is, is about the long term. In order to get you to where you need to be, it's not gonna be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, overnight type success. It takes five, 10, or 15 years. In particularly, in, in, as a real estate sales professional and as real estate agents, guys, your reputation is everything. It takes a lifetime to build it and only five minutes to lose one. All you have to do is do one wrong thing and that is it. Your reputation will be scarred and you will never be able to list or sell another house, right? So it's very, very important, guys, that you always do the right thing by your client. And, and just kind of relating back to my story once again, no matter how long it takes to get you on your two feet and actually list and sell your first house, do it in a legitimate way. Do it in a genuine way. Do not compromise your beliefs. For example, if a consumer or a seller is asking for top dollar to list and sell their house, but you don't think that it's going to sell for that much, try and reason with them. If they're not willing to be reasonable, do not take the listing. Because what's going to happen is you're going to take the listing, you're going to then try and use whatever pressure tactics to drop them down on their price to potentially get the sale. They might sell it, they will be disgruntled, you're not going to get a good review, and there goes your reputation. Guys, do not do it. Be patient. Do the right thing. Do not compromise your beliefs. And then over time, your business and your reputation will grow and you will get more business through word of mouth and referrals. And fast forward to this day, six years later, guys, I've done over 500 real estate transactions. I've got raving fans, raving reviews. People love what I do. Um, I'm not polished around the edges. I am who I am, but still my reputation speaks for itself and I want the exact same for you guys, okay? So summarizing everything is this. If you want to be a good real estate agent, do not compromise your beliefs no matter what and always have the consumer's best interests at heart no matter what. Guys, that's pretty much it. Hey, if you, if you want to find out more, um, check out the description below. Um, you'll see a ton of links to List and Sell Realty. Give us a call. Send us an email. Please go to www.agentscomefirst.com. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian. And until the next video, be selfish and go rogue.